F1 needs to get rid of these from circuits now. After the British Grand Prix, a lot of the discussion was of course about the horrendous crash that Zhou Guan Yu had on the opening lap in Formula 1. There are some learnings to be had from this, particularly around why the roll hoop failed on the Alfa Romeo. However, I'm here to address another issue that has been talked about for a little while now, and that's sausage curbs. First and foremost, let me explain to you what a sausage curb is. They ain't no normal curb, let me tell you that. They are raised ramps on the side of the track that were initially implemented to stop drivers running wide or cutting corners and basically abusing track limits. If they run wide where these curbs are, their lap time would be affected as the car would be unsettled and sometimes even suffer from their car being damaged like we've seen in Austria in the past. Now, the FIA have implemented much stricter ruling when it comes to a car leaving the track. It's as simple as if all four wheels go past the white line at any point around the track, it is deemed as leaving the track and gaining an advantage. If you do this too often, you'll get a penalty. It's as simple as that. With this ruling enforced, they have to get rid of sausage curbs because they are a danger to drivers as we saw most recently in Formula 2. If you haven't seen what happened in Formula 2, it was pretty terrifying. Roy Nassani and Dennis Hauger were battling just after Stowe Corner, when Nassani produced some of the worst defensive driving you could ever see. He squeezes Hauger all the way off the track, they make contact, which then causes Hauger to become a complete passenger on the grass, heading towards the tight left-right of Vale. Hauger's car then gets lifted up into the air by the sausage curb and lands on top of Nissani's car. If it wasn't for the halo, there could very easily have been a different and much worse outcome. Yes, we can celebrate the inclusion of the halo on these modern day formula cars, but this shouldn't be the end of it. It is completely unacceptable that a car can be launched in that manner around any point of any track. It's not like this is the first time it's happened either. Back in 2019, Alex Peroni had a horror crash in Formula 3 at Monza due to the sausage curves being placed at a high speed section of Parabolica, which is of course now known as Alboreto. Thankfully, the circuit removed this particular set of sausage curbs, and the same should be done for Vale and every single other sausage curb in existence. Even more recently in Formula 1, we had the crash between Hamilton and Verstappen last year at the same track, where Lewis's head was even touched by the rear tyre of Max's car after another sausage curb launched his Red Bull in the air. Matter of fact is, they don't need to belong in motorsport. If they are there to police track limits, scrap them. There's enough technology in Formula 1, Formula 2 and so on to hire a few more eyeballs to watch through cameras, rather than having these ridiculous contraptions at a racetrack. Motorsport is dangerous enough without having ramps that the cars can be launched off of. And if they really need something to monitor track limits, just invest in sensors. I know it costs money, but it's safer. Right, that's my rant over. I thought by now sausage curbs would have been discussed and removed after having a few scary incidents in the past. But nope, they haven't, and we've had another one at Silverstone this year. It's time for action. There you have it, a look into sausage curbs and why they all need to be put in the bin. What do you think? Let us know in the comment section below.